Here's the deal. As every graphic designer in a relationship should know, you design things for your wife or significant other because you're a designer. So I have an idea. I'm gonna design two fake tickets to a concert that I bought for my wife and I, and I'm gonna put them in her Valentine's Day card. That's today, so I gotta get that done. So here we go. I've got a pretty concrete idea what I wanna do with these tickets. I think I want them, they obviously, they need to fit into a card. So I want them to be kind of taller than they are wide, quite a bit, I think. And then what I see a lot is there's a section at the bottom here where they input a bunch of information, right? You got like ticket numbers and the venue and stuff. And then up here, you're gonna have like a person and it's sort of a cool shot of them. And they're gonna be up here like that. And then uh, potentially, I, I was thinking about this, maybe somewhere up here, maybe it's like this or something. You've got like a person's name or like the headline of the concert ticket. So then the other ticket, I think it's a guy and a girl, Charlie Puth and Haley Steinfeld. So the other ticket would be obviously, you know, you have a girl, right? There's her hair. Forgive my drawing. And then she's gonna come down here like this. We'll do the same thing and maybe we'll put in a headline here, headline here with like her name. I'm thinking their name and then we'll fill in the rest of the ticket information down here. Now down in this part, what I need to do because I don't really, I haven't, it's not like I design tickets every day. I need to go research a little bit and get some inspiration for the type of information that tickets normally have down there to really make this thing look genuine and real. I started with a document that was letter size or eight and a half by 11 inches. This is because I wanted to print off these tickets on a piece of paper that size. So I created tickets that I thought would fit in her card and then I started to work on pulling in images of Charlie Puth and then I would work on pulling in images of Haley. I didn't like the way the first one was uh, sort of positioned in there and how he fit into the frame. And so I found this other image and felt like it worked a little bit better. Now I was trying to figure out should I align him to the right or left and I decided to just put him right in the center. The photo just seemed to speak uh, that it should be center aligned. After that, it was time to put the name on top of the image. So I'm working on different fonts. I found Babus New. I'm working on the letter spacing, the sizing, and the line spacing, and figuring out if it should be bold or a thin font, and just trying to figure out where to go with that. From there, I just duplicated that entire comp over and decided to change the name to Haley Steinfeld and then start searching for pictures of her to replace Charlie's picture on that side of the ticket. Now this first picture I found, I couldn't quite crop it so she was any smaller, which meant I have to uh, increase Charlie's size and I just didn't like that. So I went and found a different photo, one that I could decrease his the size of his photo a little bit more and that they could be a little bit more similar in the way that they fit into the frame and fill that space. From there, I was researching some ticket uh, ideas and just Googling uh, concert tickets and looking at what they put on concert tickets. A lot of times there's a ticket number and so I'm starting to create spaces down in the bottom for those different pieces of information. I decided that white was a little too plain on the names, so I went with a yellow to sort of pop the names out from the background of the photo. And that bluish tone of the photo and the yellow seemed to complement each other well. The name of the tour is the Voice Notes Tour, so I thought that should be somewhere on here fairly prominent. So I'm working on a composition of those words, the Voice Notes Tour, and trying to figure out how to fit it into this space. So I worked with some lines, the tour is a little bit smaller than voice notes, and I went from there. Then I applied a little bit of fake information, so the section number is actually not a real section at the venue, but I liked the large bold letter, and I thought that that would look cool on the ticket. Then I realized I was running out of space on the bottom side, so I increased that space a little bit cut into the photos some, moved up their names, and then uh, decided to go with a blue because that's the actual color of their tour, and just to see where that would, uh, if that would look any better than the yellow. I didn't like where the voice notes tour was going. I felt like it was taking up too much vertical space, so I created more of a bold horizontal version. Really liked that, spaced out the letters some, and then put that section A in there in a square, and actually made it nice, big, and bold. And I liked where this was headed and felt like I just needed maybe two more pieces of information to fill in the rest. What I started with was the date. I thought maybe the date and the time would be good. So Sunday, August 5th is the date. And from here, I'm just trying to really play with different styles of presenting this text. Should I do a TH after the 5th? Should the August and the 5 be on the same line? Should I go with the numbers like 08 slash 05? 
I copied the section over, changed it to date, and then just kept working with what I wanted to put in there information wise so that it looked nice. I'm always adjusting the positioning of it, trying to get it to fit in there right. And I decided August 5th was 7 p.m. under it. It worked pretty well and I got rid of Sunday. From here I thought, okay, the venue's probably good to have. It's Ruoff Home Mortgage Music Center. Hate the new name that they named this venue. It used to be Verizon Wireless. That was a lot easier to say. Uh, but this name of this venue is quite long, so I'm starting to figure out how it fits, and then that's gonna dictate how some of my other text is. So I made the August 5th and 7 p.m. the same size text-wise as the Ruoff Home Mortgage Center so that those really related to each other. I went back to those branding colors and thought maybe I should make the ticket number the same blue. Went away from that pretty quick. I feel like the ticket number should look like something that's been stamped on after the fact. So next, I just needed to center everything up. So I outlined all of the text because when you outline it, it gets rid of the text box. It allows you to center pieces. I started to group together like the venue and the details underneath it. I created this red square that fills in that space so that I could center everything, all that text on the red square, and I could make sure it was centered inside of its own little quadrant or space there. And that's what I'm doing here. I'm just moving that red square over, centering up all the date information, making sure like section, date, and venue all line up, those titles, and then trying to fit all of the uh, rest of the elements inside there. I made the A a little bit smaller to kind of fit with the rest of uh, the pieces of information. From here, I just duplicated that over to Haley's, and then I decided to go back to that yellow color. I didn't like the blue. And that's where we ended up. Of course, I also wanted to cut these out, so I got out my ruler and X-Acto knife, put a little uh, piece of cardboard underneath, and I started to cut them out. Uh, whenever you're cutting things out with a ruler, X-Acto knife, make sure that you have something underneath it or else you're gonna cut into the table. I felt like these tickets turned out pretty well. I forgot to change the ticket number on the bottom, so both the tickets have the same ticket number. The total design time here was about 30 minutes, including sketching, research, and the time in Illustrator. It took about an extra five minutes to cut them out, but overall, it was a pretty quick process. All right, there we go, we did it. What do you guys think? Uh, do you think they turned out all right? I think they actually turned out okay. Uh, I think the color is a little better maybe in person than it is uh, showing up on screen there, but it's it's uh, they look pretty legit. I think all you have to do is when you design stuff like this, you're trying to sort of fake something, is to uh, really just just look up look up real stuff and just figure out what information those real things, uh, you know, the real tickets, put onto the ticket, and then mimic some of that stuff for what you're trying to do, and it's gonna come out looking all right. All right, you guys, uh, thanks for joining me on this graphic design process. I don't know if I have a name for these yet. I want to call them design breakdowns, but I don't think that's a very searchable term. So we'll keep working on this. All I have to do now is put these in her card. Today is Valentine's Day. I'm going to be giving these to her after work today, and uh, I hope she's excited. Uh, thanks for watching, you guys. Subscribe for more tips, tutorials, and creative videos, and I'll see you next time. Oh, <laughs>